Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. Uh, have you ever had one of those days you have a whole bunch of odds and ends left over so you look for things that, recipes that you have that you can use those things up? Well, today is one of those days. So I had some triple berries in my freezer and I decided to make a triple berry crisp and I had some Rice Krispies I needed to use up so I made a Rice Krispie treat thing. Now I have, from a fruit salad I made, I have some about a cup of blueberries left over. So I'm going to make about a half a recipe of um, some blueberry muffins. And so I'm gonna share that with you right now. So I have my cup of blueberries and to that I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour. And I'm gonna mix those in, that in that cup of blueberries. Now, if you're making the whole recipe, you would use two cup, but two cups of blueberries, but I just had a cup left over, okay? And then in my bowl, I have the flour I'm going to need that I'm going to whisk together with some sugar and um, I also want to whisk in this. Sorry, I'm kind of want to whisk my baking powder in, my leavening agent. So I'm gonna whisk those together. And then I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm gonna make my topping. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna make a mess is what I'm gonna do. larger muffins so hopefully this will make all six if not that's fine because we don't need six necessarily so I'm gonna set that aside and make my topping so I have just a little bit of flour in my bowl and to that I'm gonna add some brown sugar and just a pinch of salt and a little bit of cinnamon Again, look at the beginning of the video if you want the exact amount. I want to mix those together. And then I've melted for half the recipe about a tablespoon and a half of butter. So I'm going to mix that in. And then I want to go ahead and refrigerate my topping so it has a little bit of a chance to set up before I put it over my muffins. So it should look crumbly like that. Okay, so I'll set this in the fridge. Now that our topping is in the refrigerator, I have some butter that I melted. Now you can brown the butter the recipe calls for brown butter, but make sure you let the butter cool either way and that you have your egg at room temperature or your eggs at room temperature. You wanna beat those together. Gradually add that flour. 
flat or peaked. berries. Fill these about two thirds to three fourths full. Don't overfill them. preheating to 400 degrees. These need to bake for about 25 to 28 minutes and then we'll take them out and let them cool in the pan for about five minutes and then they will be ready to go. So we'll go get our topping out of the refrigerator that over it and put that in our hot oven to bake. Thanks for joining us for this session of Cooking with Some Friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.